Guys, today I just took this, it's frozen, solid, like a rock. Took this chicken out of the uh, uh, freezer, and we're going to cook it completely done in just a little over an hour in our Instant Pot. So follow along. Hope you enjoy. We'll uh, have chicken for long, chicken in every pot. Hey guys, we're in the kitchen today, and I decided I wanted to cook a whole chicken, but it was frozen. So I decided I can take my Instant Pot, and you can cook a whole frozen chicken in just a little over an hour, and uh, it should be fall apart. I've actually done this before. Let's uh, go over here to the freezer and see if we can find a whole chicken. I know there's one in here somewhere, but I don't see it. So I'm gonna try to dig that out. Maybe it's right here, no? Okay, I'm gonna try to dig it out and we'll be right back. All right, we found our chicken. Now this is a young whole chicken. Just took it out of the freezer. Let's see, it weighs 5.85 pounds, so just under six pounds. See, they're not that expensive, $5.67. I'm gonna get several things out of it, but uh, we'll, we might use the juice when we're done. But what we have to do is we have to clean this up, you know, go in here, take it out of the thing and wash it down and get it ready to put into the Instant Pot. It'll probably take, I'm gonna say about an hour and 10 minutes to totally do it. It's about a six pound, because we want it to fall apart. All right, what we've done here is we've taken our whole chicken, we've rinsed it off, we've uh, added a layer of olive oil all over it, and this way the spices will stick. We really spice it up good. Uh, here's the spices left over, what we had used with some coarse sea salt, we have used some garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, oregano, and black pepper. So that was our spices. We massaged it all, all around, we did the bottom, in the top of the chicken there and got it all spiced. So we did that. Then what we did is we added one cup of water to the bottom of the Instant Pot. Let's turn it on here and uh, put the lid on it. So we're all set. Now we did use that rack. There's a, uh, a rack that you can put in the bottom of it. You show our pressure valve here is in the pressure cycle here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook this for a uh, hour and 10 minutes. So we're going to hit steam and then I already had it set up there. Hour and 10 minutes. It's ready to go. We've had our pressure on high. So that's all we have to do. Uh, get it set back and wait for an hour. There it goes. It's ready to start. So we're going to see how it comes out. This is a totally hard frozen chicken out of the freezer and it should be done in a little over an hour ready to eat. All right guys it's depressurized itself. I let it go for an hour and 10 minutes and see went past a, another 10 minutes but it has if I flip the thing see there's no more pressure in there so then when we open this up it gave it that time to fully cook and so we're going to take a look at it just see what we got here. Get a little closer into it. There it is. Now what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna, got that nice little wire back, back skit here. We're gonna pull that out. I'm gonna see how hot that is. I think I can pull it out with my fingers. So let's set this up. And let's bring this out and set it over here on this rack. That's that camera here just a little bit. There we go. So maybe you can see a little bit of me too. Not like you want to. So anyways, we're gonna pull this up out of the basket here. Let that kind of drain just a little bit. Keep all these juices in there. Let's 
So there it is. I really, really think it's pretty done. We'll uh, cut into it here in a minute. What we're going to do is take that juice and we're going to make some rice. But what we have to do, it's going to cook about another hour. But we're going to eat a little bit of this. And then later on we'll have another dinner that we can use. So let's, uh, let's just kind of cut into this a little bit here and see what we got. See how that bone fell apart? It just really fell apart. What we're going to do is I'm going to throw the bones back in here. And this way, uh, when we cook it down, we'll have a nice, get a nice broth. But there you guys go. See, it is done. Completely off the bone done. And so what we're going to do here, I'm going to cut a little bit of this up. We're going to uh, have a little bit of this for our lunch. And then we're going to go ahead and throw it in here, throw some rice in there, and make a, a heavy broth out of the remaining balance there. All right, I went ahead and I started cutting it up and decided I wanted it a little more done than what it was. So I put it in here for another 30 minutes. But what I'm going to try here is uh, to just take all the chicken I can and leave. I want to make a broth with the, the bones and stuff. See, it's definitely done now. Cause... But I'm going to work on taking this apart and just leave the bones behind that I can use for my broth. And I'm going to do it another hour to try to get as much flavor as I can out of that. I'm going to pull that out a little bit here. There you go, getting some of that meat off of that bone. Started picking it up and it just kind of pulled off the meat, so that's what I'm after. Make these little bones, I want to leave those bones in there. Let's see if we can uh, strip this meat down a little bit here and put that bone back in. Yeah, see I can take the fork and just kind of pull that apart. Maybe you can see it over here or not. But yeah, just pull that meat off of that bone. So make sure that's up. Hit the steam. And it says 30. We're going to go up to an hour. And there we go. Just let it go for an hour. And we're going to cook that broth down and uh, make a rice dish out of it. But I wanted to show you. There's the meat. Got all that meat off of that chicken there. And so we'll probably use that for several different things there, but we've had a little bit of lunch with it. And we're gonna make maybe two or three more dishes out of it. So keep following along. We're gonna get our broth done next. Yeah, the broth and the bones have been uh, in the Instant Pot for just about an hour now. We're gonna take it off. And they've boiled down. Oh, the, the broth looks really nice and thick and rich. So what we gotta do next is I have to strain out all the bones and stuff out of there so then I can make rice out of it. Let's pull it out of here and let's see if I can even show you a little bit. Get it up out of there. These uh, set really tight down in there. There it is guys. This is our broth that we've made uh, out of. So what I'm doing here is I have a it's a noodle or a spaghetti strainer set up into another bowl and so what I'm going to do here is I'm dumping all that stuff into that bowl. Now I'm going to do a, a little rinse because there's some stuff in the bottom left over from all that. 
And so I'm going to do a, a quick little rinse just so that this is nice and clean. And so what I want to do next here, I'm going to set my pot back down in here. Now I've strained out all the, there's some meat and good stuff in there. That's all been strained out into this spaghetti uh, strainer here. Now I'm trying to obtain two cups of liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and set that. It's a two cup uh, measuring cup. Set it down here so I don't spill it all over the counter. Oh, it looks like I got a full two cups. Actually, let's see how much we can make. We don't wanna waste it. I can add more rice. I was gonna just make two cups, so I'm gonna put it in my Instant Pot. Let's see how much is in the rest of this here. So we basically ended up with four cups. So this can be all safe. So we end up with four cu cups of broth. Okay, so I've put my four cups of broth into the uh, Instant Pot. And I have this, uh, this is whole grain brown rice. They call for one cup for two cups of liquid. So I can actually put in two cups of rice. So I'm gonna add, there's one cup. Now I was prepared, I had some chicken broth in case I didn't have my full two cups, I ended up with four cups. Let's do another. There we go. Another cup of rice. So we end up two cups of rice. Put it in here to four cups of broth that we made with the uh, uh, extra chicken, the whole chicken. Now I'm going to put this back down on here. This has a rice button. It's basically 12 minutes. So I set it on 12 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and cook the rice for 12 minutes and see what we have. We should have a nice uh, rice done up. So I'll be back. Oh, the rice should be all done. What I did here is the rice button on here cooks it for 12 minutes. I found in the past it's not done enough for me. No, no, it seems, I almost call it a little crunchy. But I like a fluffy, well done rice. I don't like it. I don't know if they call that al dente. But anyways, let's take the lid off and see what we got. So we have a nice broth here. Oh, it looks really nice and done. Let's put a little bit, let's put a little bit here on the plate. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Now, this still has a lot of broth in it. So you can actually use that for other things besides just this, but I'm gonna make up a little plate here with some chicken on it. But we'll just a little more rice there. And a little broth over that chicken. There we go, there is my chicken and rice uh, done up from a whole chicken. It takes a while. Um, when I come on and said that it's an hour, it really takes longer than an hour to do a chicken from frozen. Uh, I read some other uh, videos that had done it from, but it really doesn't. I, I've done this twice now, and it's, it's about, I'm gonna say an hour and 45 minutes to two hours from a frozen, to be honest. Uh, but it came out really good. I saved the broth. There was nothing left. When I was done with this and picked all the bones out, I had a little handful of bones out of that whole chicken. So it's very economical. Uh, you use just about everything up. And we've been trying to make food last with uh, things going on. We're just trying to make our grocery bill stretch out for months rather than a week or two. Oh, so let me take a taste here. Let's see what this tastes like here. Yeah, see that rice, it's done really nice and flavorful. It's all that broth from the uh, chicken. A little chicken with it. Man, this is great. I don't know what more you could ask for. This is really good stuff. Give it a try. It takes a little time, but good way to uh, take a chicken, whole chicken, all the way down. It's inexpensive. Five dollars some for chicken. Rice isn't very expensive. That whole whole thing probably costs six, seven bucks, eight bucks at the most. And there's a lot of food there for eight bucks, so you can't beat it. Hey, if you guys uh, enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, leave it in the section below. 
Uh, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. You know, join us in our adventures. We do other things. We do a lot of product reviews. We do cooking reviews. Lately, we've been doing a lot of different things with everything going on in the country. I haven't been able to get out as much. So, all kinds of different videos. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys the next time. Hey, happy eating out there. Be safe and uh, enjoy your food. All right, if you want to see how to get some of our other links, when you go to our main YouTube page, up here in the picture area right here, you'll see it says like Facebook. You can click on that. That'll take you right over to our Facebook group. And you're welcome. You can join the Facebook group, uh, add your videos, add uh, whatever you meant, do some discussion there. But you can go there. If you would like to uh, support us on the Amazon, again, up in this picture, you'll see a uh, link that says Amazon. Click on that link right there. Go ahead and sign in, make all your purchases. And uh, what will happen here, you'll give us a tip. It, uh, we get a small percentage back. Costs you absolutely nothing, uh, but it does help us out and we appreciate that. But I just show you a few little links here if you want to uh, uh, go to some of the other features we have here at Lucky Dog Productions.